now we are in part three, China. China was a amazing experience, but looking back on it a few years later, so I went to China um, December of 2019. So just think about how long ago that was. That was right before COVID had actually kicked off. And if you believe it or not, I was roughly about two hours away from the epicenter where everything kicked off at. But nonetheless, you know, me being over there, having to take care of business, meet with some manufacturers and actually get this footwear started and off the ground. The experience was amazing. Um, I got to see the insides of all the factories. I got to see how samples were made. I got to see how full production was made. And I got to meet some people that I worked with in those factories for the most part were very helpful. They came and picked me up from the airport. They paid for all my meals. I was treated like a rock star and a celebrity while I was there. Cause ultimately I was, you know, I was there to buy a product and they didn't know I was just creating this for my wife or whatnot. They thought I was, you know, the next Tommy Hill figure or whatever you want to call it. So while I was there, I got the rock star treatment from most, but others, you know, they were just in and out. This is what I want. This is what you're going to do. Blah, blah, blah. You want to make it happen? We'll make it happen. If not, we will go somewhere else. For the first time being there and dealing with that and experiencing that, it was very overwhelming the first couple of days. The first few factories that I met actually left with nothing. You know, I left feeling discouraged, feeling like I couldn't, you know, make this happen. It wasn't until like a couple of days later, I was in my room at night and I just sat there and thought to myself like, hey, you know, I'm the client. These people are gonna have to help me because I'm a paying customer. So I wrote down my list of things I wanted to see changed or implemented in the footwear that I did have created. And I created a whole new list of factories to meet. And I went to them one by one by one by one. And I told them my demands or my list of things that needed to happen. And if they couldn't do it, I left. And by the time I left China, I went to three different cities. I saw roughly 10 different factories and I left there with one confirmed yes.